morning. It's Friday and I just got to school and today is pajama day. So I'm just wearing these pajamas. They're like really thin and they're kind of gray with like maroon colored spots on them. And I brought my mini Tonkas. I'm gonna put these on in a minute. It's raining outside. So I just have regular tennis shoes on. But um, yeah, today's pajama day. So I'm excited to see all my kids pajamas. It does cost a dollar for them to wear pajamas and the money is going towards, I think, if I'm not mistaken, some fourth graders for a field trip that, you know, students who can't afford to go or can't get the money or whatever then the school is kind of doing pajama day to help those kids out. It is very rainy and yucky outside today, but it is kind of warm. It's like 57, I think, which is above average for this time of year. I did not get a chance to finish my newsletter yesterday afternoon, so I'm gonna work on that this morning and get that printed out so that my assistant can stuff my Friday folders when she comes in. And I also have a student who says he doesn't have any tennis shoes that fit him. And we have a, what we call a wildcat closet that has a bunch of clothes and shoes and different things for kids who need them. So I'm gonna get my assistant to go down there and see if she can find him a pair of tennis shoes because we have gym today. We had extra PE yesterday and the PE teacher let him borrow a pair of shoes each time my kids go to gym, if they all have tennis shoes, then they get a paper tennis shoe. And then at the end of the year, whoever has the most paper tennis shoes in the school gets like a golden shoe, like a trophy. So there's gold, silver, and bronze. So <clears throat> hopefully she can find some shoes down there for him to wear. Today should be a pretty easy day for me. We do have our lip block rotations this morning and I am still doing M-class testing. But after lunch today, my kids have guidance. And then when they get back from guidance, we'll do math and then have recess and then they have gym. So I will have lots of planning time today to get ready for next week and get my kids Friday folders and all that jazz ready for the weekend. So I'm gonna jump off here and work on my newsletter, get that printed out, and I will catch back up with y'all when my kids go to lunch. One of my teen teachers just came in and brought me a sausage and egg biscuit. This makes me super happy. I haven't had breakfast, so I cannot wait to enjoy this. I will be so glad when this testing is over. My kids just, have a really hard time being quiet and working independently and actually doing the work. They kind of just sit and hang out all morning. So that's basically all I've been doing. They did three rotations. Um, my assistant read aloud and then we watched a little Brain Pop Junior video on goods and services before they went to lunch today. I guess I'm just gonna grade the papers and write incomplete at the top this is what they were working on today. So I gave them this article on Monday. No, Tuesday, because we didn't have school Monday. Gave them this article on Monday. They had to read it. And then they had to answer these five questions on the back. And then they had a reading checkpoint main idea and details, um, another sheet that had some questions, they had to find evidence from the text, and then their New Year's resolution. And I only had three kids in my whole class finish, and they've had it every day this week to work on it. I just don't understand. So I will be so glad when testing is over and I can get back to my regular teaching. Excuse me and be able to monitor and walk around and keep them on task. But my battery is about to die, so I'm gonna charge it and go eat a bite of lunch, and then my kids will be going to guidance after lunch, so I will touch base with y'all then. I did say I was gonna check back in with you guys when my kids went to guidance, but I didn't because I was too busy finishing up some testing that I needed to score. 
I had to contact a parent about a message she sent me. I had to straighten up this messy room because it was just like a tornado went off in here this morning because I was just testing, testing, testing. And did I mention I hate testing? Because I do. It's so stressful, y'all. I am like, yesterday was the worst. Today's been okay. It's just my kids. I feel so bad for them because they have to just sit and work independently and it's just not fair. But I did make some progress today and I'm hoping to be done early next week, but we shall see, I suppose. My kids just left to go to extra PE this afternoon. When they get back, it will be 2.15 and we dismiss at 2.30. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out their Friday folders on their desk so that when they get back in the room, they can pack up and put their chairs up. I did get my newsletters printed out. So there's my newsletter for next week. Some upcoming events our lunch menu, and then what we'll be doing next week, and then I have a few reminders there at the bottom. So I went ahead and stuffed my homework folders for next week. I put their homework in there and checked their homework from this morning because I didn't have time to do it this morning and gave them points for that. I am going to check over my plans for Tuesday just to make sure I'm prepared. I need to make some copies for our goods and services unit that we are doing next week. So I'm gonna get some work done and I'll check back in with y'all after my kids go home. My kids are all gone home and it is 10 minutes till four, no, three. And I feel like I'm totally losing my mind right now. This week has been draining, so draining on me. I've got this stack of papers here that I am going through. I'm sorting them by what they are, and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to get as much scored as I can so I don't have to take them home. I didn't score anything last night, so I am behind a day. I'm gonna do that. I need to put morning work out and change my lunch choices. And I think I have everything ready for literacy block on Monday. I cleaned out their writing folders this afternoon while they were in extra PE. And I have all their writing right here. So I need to file this grade and get ready for Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, that's what I'm gonna do. to get out of here I'm about to head out it is four o'clock well actually it's 4:10, and I moved some of my students so I put a little girl there because she can't get her work done when she sits at a table group and then way over there I put another little boy away from a table group and I cleaned off my counter I put all of my crates on this side under my learning targets and then I moved all of my baskets and things that I use the most on this side. So we'll see how it goes. And then I made this little basket for my pens and markers and sticky notes and erasers and stickers and all the kinds of things that I need on a daily basis. And put that there. So I'm hoping that will be easier to access. I've gone ahead and packed up my backpack and I have my bag there. So I'm going to get ready to head out. It is yucky and rainy and dark outside it looks like it's almost dark so i'm gonna head on home thank goodness tomorrow is saturday i was thinking about going over to my parents house but i don't know if i'm going to or not i guess i'll just have to see how i feel when i get in the car so i'm going to head on out happy friday to all of you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. Make sure you click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me. If you are a teacher and you have Monday off, I hope that you have a wonderful 
relaxing, long three-day weekend. And I will see all of you guys again on Tuesday.